Okay, so new lathe. We need to move it in the workshop. So we've got a en engine hoist. Move everything out of the way, but the engine hoist doesn't fit through the door, which means we have to go about that far and then disassemble the engine hoist, which means taking all the legs and so forth off and moving it into the workshop. The central bar I can't disassemble because otherwise that would mean going through the ceiling. So we then set it up and with the straps we gradually hoist the, la the lathe up, get it rebalanced, get the new camera set up so that you can watch from two angles, fiddle around with the music so that I can enjoy myself and get some props, things to put underneath the lathe when I've got it hoisted up. And to watch the raising of the Titanic again, moving the sawhorses into place. And the reason for that is, as you can see, the uh, sometimes you don't seal the hydraulic cylinder valve correctly and you end up with the, the, um, the hoist going down. So next we have to put the, um, the control box, which is the blue uh, box sitting on the bed of the lathe, under the, underneath the bench on the wall, which means I'm just mounting, I'm fixing and mounting a board to put the, um, that there. And then I realise that that's not going to fit on that board, it's going to be too far back. So I get a different board, which is going to be the same thickness as the uh, uprights for the, the, the lathe. Drill some pocket hole screws for it, put that in place, screw that in, and then we have to start working out where the lay the um, screws for the control box is actually going to fit since that's an imprecise science and seems to require a little bit of work doesn't really want to go in easily we figure that right out for a bit next we have to put a slot in the uh, table in the bench for the cables so because i have to do this at this point because I needed to know where those cables would be and how far I had um, on the, um, the lathe bench. Um, so I'm using my router, cut out some boring bit there um, and then fiddle around with the cables to put the cables in place um, while the um, once the control box is in place. Now we can move the lathe. The problem with that is that the uh, engine hoist doesn't go sideways. It, the back goes sideways, but the front really just goes forward and backwards. So we have to do this in a series of operations where we get the, um, put, get the lathe a little bit closer, and then we move the um, engine hoist around so it's going to drag the lathe a bit further because trust me 140 kilos of lathe does not move sideways easily so we hoist that up and hmm okay now that's not quite going to go so hoist that up a bit further we can get the far end or the closer end um, of the lathe um, the tail in place now we've moved the engine hoist in place enough that we can get the bed of the head of the lathe in place and now we can have a bit of a break so remove finally move that around um, get the lathe in position disassemble the engine hoist again take that all out Now we need to bolt the, the um, bench down onto the uprights. Um, I made pre-drilled screws and screw holes for those. 
um, and then I had a, a hole for the um, nut which could feed through so that the um, whole bed is pulled down onto the upright um, not screwed into the upright and after I realized that I don't have bolts that are quite long enough to actually fit the lathe then I'm going to go have to go out to Bunnings again give the lathe a bit of a test it looks good so we do a quick pirouette and we're finished <laughs>